In this video, I'm going to go over the simple page for the granular layer in Padmotion. If you're familiar with any of our other products, you'll notice that the bulk of this page is identical uh, to the other simple pages, say with Poly or Wave. So at the top, we can change between Sample or Advanced by these tabs. You can bypass the layer. We have a low-pass filter cutoff, a low-pass filter resonance. We have a pan, a main volume, a meter, the coarse tune, octave tune, and from here you can also choose to enable or disable the ARP or even the MIDI player. With the ARP you also have octave controls. Then you have the high-pass filter cutoff and the high-pass filter resonance. Working our way down in the oscillator section, this is where you'll find the granular parameters. So like the sample layer, you have a sample display here. So whatever sample you choose from in this list, uh, the display will update accordingly. This highlighted region is your looped region. You can control the loop from the loop mode here. You also have the loop start and the loop end. We have a sample start, sample end, and playback mode with a few different options there. Now you can choose the number of grains you want, and it goes up to eight. You have the grain shape, the speed, and the direction. You can also choose the level, the position, the duration, the pitch, key follow, and the length. Working our way down, we have the standard ADSR for the am amplitude envelope, attack, decay, sustain, release, and the amplitude velocity. You can choose to bypass the filter here. We have the cutoff and plenty of different filter types. We've got the resonance, envelope amount, and distortion, and then you have a few different options for distortion. We also have the filter velocity control right there. Now under the motion section, we have two pre-assigned LFOs, one to the volume, one to the pan. Both of these are identical in their parameters and functionality, so you can bypass them via this switch here. You can choose the uh, waveform type. You've got different re-trigger re modes. You've got an amount, rate, shape, and phase. And that's the same that you'll find here in the pan LFO. For the modulation section, this is where you'll choose what the aftertouch affects or even the mod wheel. You can bypass them by hitting their switches. You can control the amount. And under the destination menu, you have a few different options to choose from. So that wraps up the simple page for the granular layer of pad motion.